Hello, this is Kurt from Grand Purpose Piano. I have a customer that called up and or emailed me rather and asked how he can go ahead and replace the lyre braces uh, that are missing in his piano. So the first thing you want to do is you want to determine what type of lyre brace it is. Is it made out of wood? So you got to look under your piano and see uh, the cutouts where the lyre braces might have gone. If there are screw holes there with two screw holes on each side, then you'll know that it's a metal brace that needs to be reattached and you, we can get them for you too. But if it's made out of wood, um, like this Steinway is, we order um, longer lengths like this from Steinway. So this is the Steinway Lyre Brace. Now it's not cut to size, it's oversized. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to your piano and then I'll put this down. I have uh, two dowel, two long pieces of dowel so I have two pieces of dowel, one shorter than the other, and I have a mark on the longer one. And then I go to the piano itself. Oh, it's so hard to do this with a video. Okay, so I have the one here, and I stick it inside its hole in the hole over here. And then I want to go into this hole over there, but obviously it's too short. So I take the second one over here. I have a second dowel in my hand. And then what I do is I'll extend the second one into the hole. So let me try to do that right now. Hold on a sec while I try to do this with one hand. Then I'll extend it, like telescope it, until it makes full contact inside, inside the lyre brace over here on the lyre. And then it's also in on this end over there. So I'm trying to determine uh, the length that I'll need. So then I'll have my mark. Let's see if I can my hand I have already made a pencil mark so there it's, it's extended all the way in the hole over here and it's extended all the way over there and I kind of play with it until I get it to where it's fully extended where there's no play whatsoever and then I'll make a mark next to the other mark okay and then I can remove it go over to my ruler and lay it out on the ruler with my marks lining up Let's just get my marks lining up like so. I'm doing this all with one hand, so it's so you can see I got my marks lined up, and then uh, and then of course can go ahead and measure it from there, and then measure it over to here, and I'll know exactly how long this lyre brace is. So then I can then cut that down to size over here, and that will fit in this spot there. Now I want to make this clear that both cannot be cut to the same size because um, the two sides will be different. All right, so I'll just go and show you on this one here. I'm doing the same thing. So you want to mark, make sure you mark your liar braces because they will be different. All right, and make sure also that your liar is all the way inserted in the um, on its pedal. So once again, I'm pushing it uh, into both spots with one hand here. Of course, it's like next to impossible. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line up my marks. And you can see they're different. Now that little bit of a difference doesn't look like much, but it is much. You'll, you'll get a lot of movement in the lyre uh, if, you, if you don't uh, cut them all to the, to the right size. So there it is. You could see the difference and then I'll translate that over and cut that dowel to that height too, to that uh, width um, length. So both sides have to be marked. So I'll put a, you can even see on the Steinway here, there is a number and uh, there's a number two and there's a number one. So this had already been done. I have the original uh, braces for this, but the liar braces are also marked because uh, they're different lengths. And sometimes you can get a piano where the piano mover had put the piano back together for you and you'll notice that there's that their lyre braces aren't lined up. They're not there's looseness in one and the other one's super tight. You want to check and make sure that they put them on the right way with number one being in the area where it needs to be. Okay, so once again, you'll need to mark one of them, you know, for the different lengths so you know which one it's going to go into. Well, I hope this was helpful. I know it's, uh, you know, I have, a, and you could get fancy. Some people, 
you know, if you know a guy that does some wood turning, you know, you might want to get somebody, you know, a friend of yours or somebody like that that can sit there and turn a nice piece of wood for you. Um, either that or you can probably get stuff like this from the piano supply companies, you know, um, and then you'll have to finish them. Like, for instance, this isn't finished. It'll have to be finished to match uh, whatever piano it's going to go to. All right. Well, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was helpful.